Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and is bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Stay alive. I'll be coming to get you too, Caden. you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, 
you must die. All right, everybody, hang on! Thanks, Commander. Things got pretty hot down there. You saved my life. Both our lives. I don't know how you did it, Commander. The Alliance will come up with a whole new medal for what you pulled off here. If they don't court-martial you, you endangered the entire mission. Why didn't you just leave one of us behind? The mission was never in danger. I had it all under control. Anyone else? I'd say that got lucky. Caden's right. Nobody else could make a stunt like that work. Put anyone else in charge and someone gets left behind. Or the mission fails. I won't accept failure. This mission is too important. Saren's still looking for the conduit, but we're gonna find it first. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Nobody is messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. <sighs> Looks like I don't have a choice. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Incredible. I... I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it and tell me what you saw. It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. 
The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. Dr. Chalkwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. I hope you don't plan to cut us off like last time, Commander. What you discovered on Vermeer is too important. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's real. The Reapers are real. Saren even admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. I tried to warn you about Saren. You didn't believe me then, and look how that turned out. I believe you humans have a saying. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here's another saying. Go to hell. Maybe we were wrong about you, Shepard. Maybe humans are too hot-headed to be specters. Enough! Commander Shepard has performed admirably so far. This discussion is only a minor disagreement. We seem to have a lot of disagreements, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. <laughs>